Many of you will know that I love the amino acid taurine. So in today's video, what I'm gonna do is actually share with you a new form of taurine that's actually called homo taurine and it has nothing to do with uh, sexual preference or, or sexuality. Um, what we're referring to here is a new form of taurine known as homo taurine. So first of all, what is homo taurine? Homo taurine is a synthetic analog of the amino acid taurine characterized by an additional carbon in its structure. It is primarily investigated for its potential to inhibit the aggregation of amyloid beta peptides, which are implicated in the development of Alzheimer's disease. Homo taurine binds to these peptides, potentially stabilizing them and preventing the formation of harmful plaques in the brain. Now, how does that compare to regular taurine? Taurine is a sulfur containing amino acid that is not used for protein synthesis, but is crucial in several metabolic processes. Naturally found in meat and fish and dairy, taurine is essential for bile acid conjugation, antioxidant defense, osmoregulation, and the modulation of calcium signaling. It plays a significant role in the cardiovascular system development and function of skeletal muscle, the retina, and the central nervous system. Now, here are the key uses for homo taurine. Number one, neuroprotection and cognitive health. A phase two study in patients with mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease to assess the effects of tramiprosate, homo taurine, on biomarkers of disease. Clinical effects of tramiprosate in APOE 4 slash 4 homozygous patients with mild Alzheimer's disease suggest disease modification potential. Next up, we have anti amyloid activity. A critique of the drug discovery and phase three clinical programs targeting the amyloid hypothesis for Alzheimer's disease. That is from Annals of Neurology. Last but not the least, we have mood regulation. While specific studies directly linking homoterine to mood regulation are less common, the potential for mood regulation can be inferred from its activity as a GABA receptor agonist, which is a known pathway affecting mood. More targeted research would be needed to fully establish this connection. So what does the science say about using homotaurine? Homotaurine has been studied for its potential in treating Alzheimer's disease and its ability to cross the blood-brain barrier. It's also part of a pro-drug in phase three clinical trials for Alzheimer's patients with specific genetic risks. Additionally, it's been tested for possible benefits in glaucoma when combined with citicoline. It has also shown potential applications in treating long-term neurological effects of COVID-19. It's shown to decrease inflammatory markers such as IL-18, which may support memory improvement in cognitive disorders. While promising, these findings are preliminary and further research is needed to confirm these benefits. There is a lot of information that I present here on my YouTube channel. However, if you wanna know exactly what protocols are best for your unique biology, then I suggest booking in a free Boost Your Biology Strategy session with a senior member of my team, as we'll start to map out and strategize the best action plan for your unique biology. You'll see that linked down below in the video description. Now let's take a deeper dive into the mechanism of action and we'll have a look at how homo taurine actually works. So let's take a quick look at this study. It's titled, Homo taurine induces measurable changes of short latency afferent inhibition in a group of mild cognitive impairment individuals. So they noted that homo taurine, a glycosaminoglycan mimetic, targets amyloid beta oligomers early in Alzheimer's progression and affects GABA-A receptors. Research shows homo taurine alters short latency afferent inhibition linked to cholinergic transmission without significantly impacting long-term potentiation or depression. These findings suggest its potential in enhancing cholinergic functions by modulating inhibitory brain activity, highlighting its therapeutic promise in Alzheimer's management. Moving on, let's have a look at the estimated human equivalent dosage for homo taurine. So homo taurine was initially promising for Alzheimer's disease treatment due to its ability to inhibit amyloid beta aggregation. While phase three trials didn't show overall benefits, subgroup analyses suggested cognitive stabilization in APOE4 carriers. Clinical studies used doses of 100 to 150 milligrams twice per day with mild gastrointestinal side effects reported. Despite phase three setbacks, ongoing research with derivatives like ALZ801 aims to improve outcomes. Now you're probably wondering what might homotaurine stack well with? First is citicoline. 
studied for potential synergistic effects in enhancing neuroprotection in glaucoma patients, potentially improving outcomes by acting on different cell death pathways. As we can see on this study here, cytoprotective effects of citicoline and homoturine against glutamate and high glucose neurotoxicity in primary cultured retinal cells. Next up, we have vitamin D3 and curcumin. This study explores the anti-inflammatory effects of curcumin, homoturine, and vitamin D3 in diabetic retinopathy. These compounds collectively aim to reduce inflammation and oxidative stress, potentially slowing the disease's progression. So this related study is titled Anti-Inflammatory Effect of Curcumin, Homotaurin, and Vitamin D3 on Human Vitreous in Patients with Diabetic Retinopathy. Next, we have omega-3 fatty acids. Theoretically could enhance brain health and reduce inflammation, complementing homotaurine's neuroprotective effects, though direct studies are lacking. Last but not the least, we have ginkgo biloba. Hypothetically might improve cognitive function by combining blood flow benefits from ginkgo with amyloid beta aggregation inhibition from homotaurine. But specific research is needed to confirm these effects. Of course, it's important to mention any side effects or dangers associated with using this particular compound. It is generally considered possibly safe for most adults when taken by mouth, but it can cause several minor side effects. The most commonly reported side effects include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and dizziness. Additionally, some users may experience headaches. Now, what have people said about using homotaurine? What have been the reviews and feedback that people have said about this particular compound? Some users report significant benefits like improved alertness and mental energy, while others have experienced side effects such as severe headaches and nausea. Some people reported issues with stomach discomfort. These mixed reviews highlight that while some find homotaurine effective, others are affected by its adverse effects. Mixed reviews about homotaurine often reflect the varying responses individuals have to supplements due to differences in body chemistry, health status, and even expectations. This variation can be influenced by factors like underlying health conditions, concurrent medication use, dosage levels, and individual sensitivities to the supplement's active ingredients. Such divergent experiences underline the importance of consulting healthcare providers before starting new supplements like homotaurine. Now, I might as well quickly share my personal experience utilizing homotaurine. Now, this particular compound acts as a GABA-B antagonist. Now, what that means is that it blocks the GABA-B receptor. In individuals that have used Fenibut or other GABA-B agonists, they will very well know the side effects and ramifications associated with constantly agonizing the GABA-B receptor. Now, when I personally use this particular compound, Initially, I did notice a slight dysphoric effect, but then that was followed by a rebound snapback effect, similar to what I experienced using other compounds like ciproheptadine, where I actually felt a lot better. So in terms of the anxiolytic effects, I definitely noticed that initially, but it had a disruptive effect on my mood in the early phases and that was followed by a rebound positive effect on my mood state. So if you have any questions about homotaurine or if you wanna learn more about it, um, just drop a comment down below. Let's get a discussion going. If you personally use it, leave a comment down below. That's it from me today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.